All right there, this is Largan Live, and in this video we're going to be looking at how to obtain the Volume 13 Weapon Manuscripts from the Shinra Combat Simulator. Now what you're going to want to do is load up Chapter 17, Deliverance from Chaos, in the post-game hard mode. And as I've already seen most of these cutscenes before, we're just going to go ahead and skip right through until we get control of Cloud again. Now once we have control, there's just a simple path that we're kept on to follow back through to the elevator, which we're going to take upstairs to the main lab itself. Now unfortunately, our path to the main control room is impeded by the debris, but while Barrett and Red remove this, we've got ourselves a quick battle against some unknown entities. Now thankfully, this battle is quite simple, so just go ahead and take care of these however you see fit. Nice job. What? Shit, what the hell, Red? And then finally, once we have control, we can head up the path where we will get a little cutscene with Chadley. Now unfortunately, as this wasn't my first playthrough, we're no longer treated to this cutscene. But either way, once you're in control, you can head on through the new ready open door into the Shinra Combat Simulator. The manuscript is the initial reward for the Free Sea Soldier Candidate Challenge, available only on hard difficulty. Our round one challenge is against an unknown entity and enhanced shock trooper. The unknown entity is quite easy to take care of, although if you're unlucky, it can cast Fundiger as its first attack. Now the enhanced shock trooper can be more dangerous. Its fast skating can make it hard to hit with physical attacks and with some spells. The main danger, however, is from its twister ability. This ability has the potential of juggling you multiple times, inflicting substantial damage. The second battle, against the Zanin, is another simple battle. Its mephitic shower ability can inflict poison, but is easy to dodge. It also has a leap attack which can cause bind, which can be a problem if caught unaware, however it only inflicts minimal damage. The third battle is against one of the enemies I really hate, the Sledgeworm. This whack-a-mole-like robot, while being susceptible to lightning, has a tendency to disappear down its hole, thereby dodging your attack. Battle 4 against the Armoured Shock Trooper is the easiest battle in this challenge. The Trooper, while resistant to physical damage, has relatively slow attacks with very obvious warm-up indicators, allowing you to easily dodge. Simply take your time and grind away with physical attacks, or use lightning damage from a range. The final battle against the Moth Unit was the one I had initially found the most difficult. I had linked an elemental materia to a lightning materia on my weapon to try and exploit its weakness, ignoring the obvious fact that equipping it on your armour would nullify most of its attacks. Instead, I resorted to using a combination of mana wall and trying to interrupt its devastating high voltage attack. As a result, I died. A lot. And kept dying. However, with the elemental materia on the armour, this battle became much easier. In fact, I was able to defeat it on my first attempt with Barrett. And that concludes how to obtain the Volume 13 Weapon Manuscripts. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more videos and playthroughs. This was Largan Live, thanks for watching.